thanks for coming back to Shooter University. Today we're going to talk about the names of all the parts that goes into a revolver. Take your seats, we're about to get started. Class is in session. Welcome back to Schooner University. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and you probably know me from that other show. But guess what? I'm also a former college professor. So, we got work to do. We're going to jump right into it. I want to thank some of the people that I see out in the class today. Alex Veras, glad you could make it. Glad to see you out there. Uh, Lou Flores, good to see you in the class too. Um, I just got through locking the doors, so if you're late, you're tardy, too bad. Oh, What's that noise? Fee Nguyen. He never met a door he couldn't breach. Fee, glad you're here. Anyway, I'm going to rely on some of you veterans here to help some of the slower students keep up. Now, with 10 million new gun owners in America, there's a lot of newbies in the room. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to educate some of you newbies so that you can keep up in a conversation and know what the rest of us are all talking about. So, today we're going to talk about Revolver nomenclature. Say what? Yeah, that's a big college word. Anyway, when we're talking about nomenclature, we're talking about breaking it down to the names of different parts. So, for example, we want to start by showing safe and clear. We've got an unloaded revolver. This happens to be a Smith & Wesson 19. Seriously fun gun. But we're going to talk about the various parts. We have the front sight, we have the rear sight, we have the hammer, we have the trigger. On the very top, we call this the top strap. We also have, along the back of the, of the frame, the back strap. Of course, that would mean that the front would be the front strap. We also have the right and the left grip halves. Now, we also have the cylinder release. By pushing the cylinder forward and pushing the cylinder out, we're able to open it. This would be the cylinder. And within the cylinder, you have, in this case, six different chambers. And it's where you put each one of the cartridges. The cartridge would go in one of the six chambers. You also have the ejection rod. This is going to help you eject the spent cartridges ejection rod. Remember that. It could be on the test. Also talking about this is we have the barrel. The barrel is what the projectile is going to travel through. And what we mentioned before is the three major components to every revolver and every pistol is that it's going to have the frame, the barrel, and the action. And as we mentioned in a previous show, the action is everything that moves. So, the hammer would be part of the action. The trigger would be part of the action. The cylinder, which moves, is also going to be part of the action. Now, later on, we're going to be doing a field trip, so get your permission slips ready. We'll be taking this out on the range at a later date to show you how to load it as well as also operate it and unload it. Now, any questions from the class? I don't see any hands. I guess we've got that pretty well covered. Thank you very much for joining us at Shooter U. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Today we went over the names of the nomenclature of the various parts of the pistol. Glad you all could make it. Class is dismissed.